Hi, I'm Navneet. And I'm Steven. Uh, we're from DLT Solutions. We are a partner of Google. And in this video, we'll be showing you how exactly easy it is to set up and install a Google Search Appliance. A Google Search Appliance is basically a device which provides fast and relevant searches for your internet or a website. So let's open the box. And what do we got here? Uh, we have two power cables over here. We'll be needing to connect to the power source. Over here, we have one big network cable. This is uh, the straight cable. This is the orange crossover cable. And this is the mount. Uh, we'll probably not be mounting it right now because this is for demonstration purposes. But you'll have to mount it uh, if you have to use it permanently. Right, let's put this off to the side for now. This is the big Google search appliance box with a big Google logo on it. Uh, we'll take it out of the box and we'll show you how exactly it looks. This is pretty heavy. Let's get a look at the back ports. Let's keep it over here. We and have two people while doing this. It's a pretty heavy box. Yeah. So this is a pretty simple looking back slot for this. We have two power source over here, which you can take it out if you want, but you know, it's not used to take this out. You only need one for the time being, but the other one can connect to your UPS units. Right. Uh, probably the only thing you will be need to worry about this are these ports. Mm -hmm. This is LAN 1 and LAN 2. LAN 1 is the port where you will connect your network cable in. And the LAN 2 cable over here, the port over here, you'll connect this uh, to access the admi administration console. So you'll need uh, to connect a crossover cable in this port, and the other set side of the uh, cable will be connected to the laptop. All right. So let's go ahead and place it in the rack. Give me a hand. All right, so we're back, and uh, we just connected the orange crossover cable with the laptop to the LAN 2 port of the Google Search Appliance. You didn't miss much. So let's go ahead and open a web browser over here. Uh, you might want to make sure that the IP address you get is a local one before starting it out. So I'm going to go ahead and open IP address http colon slash slash 192.168.255.1 and the port number is 1111 with a trailing slash. So as you can see it's redirecting right now and it will open in, it probably takes some time to open up, so it will open in around 30 seconds. Uh, this is asked for the basic network settings like the IP address subnet mask, uh, the default gateway, network speed. So let's go ahead and fill this part out. It's probably basic stuff. DNS settings, main server settings, time settings, admin account. This has five steps over here. We're on the first step right now and it auto-populated the values for me because I've already set this up before. So you can go ahead and type whatever is applicable to you. The IP address, subnet mask, default gateway, network speed, and click continue when you type it. All right. Now we come to the DNS and mail settings part. Like I said, it's sort of populated for me because I've already done this. So you can go ahead and enter the values for your DNS servers, the DNS suffix, the SMTP server, the sender of outgoing mail. Don't worry about these diagnostic messages because I'm not connected to the network, so uh, that's why it's, it's showing, but you don't need to worry about that right now. I'll go ahead and click continue. In local time zone. Okay, so you won't find all of your uh, cities over here. Try, try and fill uh, whatever is closest to you and whatever time zone matches to yours. I'm just gonna go ahead and select uh, New York because it's it matches with DC. Uh, fill out the NTP server, 
and click continue. We're not connected to the network right now, but when this is complete, we'll be able to do that, so let me get the cable ready. big yellow cable that comes to the box and it goes in the yellow port line one. So now we come to the admin part uh, where we need to enter the password. I'm just going to go ahead and enter the password. This is actually the first admin account that you create and using this account you can create multiple accounts when you log into the web interface of the Google Search Appliance. So <coughs> just enter the password the email address and we'll select the local and LDAP settings for the authentication console. Okay. Just click continue and that's it. Uh, you can go ahead and uh, enter some test URLs if you want, but I'm just going to skip this part. And now we're done actually.